You know, viewers, there's something missing in my life. It can't be money. It can't be women. It can't be Toby Jugs in the shape of famous World War II generals. I've got tons of them. It can only be today's celebrity challenge. There are many football games I could have chosen for my celebrated contestants, but none that captured the spirit of this greatest of games more than Worldwide Soccer 98 on the Sega Saturn. Ancient rivals England and Scotland will meet again on the virtual pitch in a match of two 90-second halves. Right then, let's prepare for kickoff. Right, now we're going to use this challenge as a curtain raiser for domestic hopes in uh, the France World Cup. So, Welsh and Irish viewers, you can go and make a cup of tea because representing Scotland and England, please welcome Christian Daly and Saul Campbell. <laughs> Show so. Hi, how you Welcome, Christian. How are you there? All right. Done, okay, guys. Now, um, obviously, both of you are looking forward to France in the World Cup. Uh, what's, what's the best and worst things that you think there'll be about France? So, uh, I think the best thing will be me playing, in, you know, actually playing in the uh, World Cup. And uh, I think the worst thing could happen is uh, losing in the final. Yeah. No, that won't be that won't be that bad. <laughs> that won't be that bad at all. Uh, Christian, what about you? What are you looking forward to about France? Um, same as so really, just being there. Uh, it's a massive thrill just to be involved in something like the World yeah. Cup. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can play England and hopefully we can beat them this thing. Oh, it will happen. I am, I am absolutely convinced. <laughs> well, uh, luckily, as an impartial presenter of this show, I have no bias <laughs> in the result of this titanic struggle between Scotland, yes, and England pants. <laughs> we will find out the result and much more after this break. <laughs> Well set for a clash of domestic titans, England against Scotland in the shape of Saul Cardinal against Christian Daly. At this point, I'd now like to welcome back one of our friends from last year's. He's been dabbling with motor cars, but now he's back <laughs> where he belongs, beside me in the comedy box, Mr. Jim Rosenthal. Welcome back, Jim. Welcome back, indeed. Back on a desert island where I belong, then. Well, Jim, you know what I thought was strange was that one minute, there you were on Games Master doing the commentary. The next thing, you signed up for a massive deal doing the Formula One. Do you think they saw you on Games Master? It was all on the back of my appearance with you. <laughs> that was it? I thought, if I can handle you, I can handle anything. <laughs> Not Schumacher was a doddle. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, okay, this is Scotland, England. Is it going to be like the typical clashes? Scotland coming out, lots of skill, Brazilian flair, and England fluking it? It's not quite how I've seen the last <laughs> clashes, I must admit. I'm, I'm racking my memory for England fluking it. Uh, I think it's going to be very, very competitive. I think we're just going to be tight. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to play two <laughs> one and a half minute halves here. We are not surprisingly, Christian is going to play as Scotland, Saul is going to play as England. The best of luck, guys. Let's go to kick off. Okay, Christian Daly in the dark blue shirt to Scotland, good playing down. And uh, Saul Campbell in the white of England playing up the pitch. And it's England on the attack, Jim. No, it's the kiss of death for me. It's a shot of Scotland. It just goes wide there. I thought that, that was well good. wide, that one, actually. <laughs> I think you're getting a bit carried away a bit early on here. Let's have a bit of sort of reality in this game. <laughs> Being looking very composed at the moment, and, and uh, Sol Campbell looking for a run from his front men as uh, Scotland hack it desperately forward. You see him looking for a run from his front men, I say hoofing it up. And it's Scotland on the attack, it's the Brazilian in Briggs. Oh, and this has got to be a penalty, even though it's in the box. Danger, it's danger. a one, it's a shot, oh, it just misses. Jim, that, that is missed by millimetres. Uh, I'll forgive you getting a bit excited about that one. I must admit the old hairs went up on the back of my head there, but uh, Sol Campbell seemed to back off there with the England team. Interesting tactic. And that's another interesting <laughs> tactic there that has uh, given Scotland a corner. Here they go, the big men are up in the box. It's a cunningly flated one. Right to the back of the box. It's in yes. He nips in there. Kevin Gallagher has got Brick scores. One nil in Scotland. Well, you've got the scorer wrong, but it was a fairly straightforward goal and the England defenders will not be chuffed about that and they won't be very happy about the way they gave away this corner either. England kicked it off, playing up the pitch with a lot of work to do. Yeah, they're looking to get back into this straight away, but there's some fierce challenging going on in the midfield. Well, it looks like Gaza there, that guy, doesn't he? He's got the yeah, white hair. Yeah, yeah, he did. Here comes Scotland again. It's a 
a good long ball in, but it's safe with the keeper. Probably looking to get a, just a little bit of momentum going and perhaps make a, a single pass be nice to see. <laughs> but good individual skills though. Oh, it is, it's a long shot. Oh, it's a beautiful save, but is it going to go across the line? No, it's over the bar. Splendid well, athletics from the Scottish keeper there, Jim. Well, amazing in this first couple of minutes here. We've seen a Scottish goal and a good Scottish save as well. I can't quite understand it. Oh, oh another one. one. It bobbled a little bit. That was Gaza, wasn't it? Near post. It looked a bit small and slim. I'm just a bit worried about the way we back off when, when uh, Scotland attack. But uh, you could just be over-elaborating here and giving England a chance to get back in it. Just one down. It's a terrific piece of skill. A great chance for an equaliser here from Gaza. Oh, it's great. Oh. Right. He's, oh, he's very nonchalant, this goalkeeper. Who is he? <laughs> he's extremely casual. It's another desperately long job from England. I think they're clutching at straws now, Jim, as we approach uh, half-time. The keeper's had a great game, and... Uh, but England, I'm glad to see we're attacking. It's an offensive error though, and England oh, might be through as the referee looks at his watch. He thinks he's trying to slide the save from the Scottish keeper there. It's a corner to England. He's kept you in it. And we've got an equalising chance just before half time. It's Did headed up there. We've it's got enough England numbers goal. in there. The goalkeeper in right place again. Can you the believe it? Safest hands in soccer. Once oh, again, the referee looks at his watch, blows the whistle. It's half time as Scotland won. England, didn't it? Now, Jim, what would you be hoping to see from England in the second half? I'd like to see a bit more passing. I'd like to see uh, the defence actually making challenges a bit higher up the pitch. And I'd like to see that Scottish goalkeeper off the pitch. That would, yes, that would help England. I would just like to see generally a repeat of the first half. OK, let's go to the second half now. Scotland and the Blue playing up the pitch with Christian Daly. So Campbell in England playing in the white, playing down the pitch. Well, Dominic, I think England be well pleased by the way they finished the first half. Um, Craig Brown checking the name of the Scotland goalkeeper because he's had a tremendous game so far. And from where I'm sitting, he's really kept Scotland in it. He's checking to make sure that he is actually Scottish. And here they come again to him attack. Oh, how did he miss that, Jim? The goalie committed himself. Wide open goal. Uh, this England defence, and they keep backing off. Sol Campbell's got to make those tackles higher up the pitch. It's and another open goal. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He's, he's scuffed that goal kick, hasn't he? Well, an England man caught in possession and a brilliant, brilliant finish from Christian Daly in Scotland. Major, major head shaking for Mr Hoddle and a big, big inquest to follow this at the moment. But still a lot of time to go. We could get back in it. It's uh, it's almost early doors uh, in the second half. Still 2-0 to Scotland. They are fight back needed from England. But it's still danger. up Scotland, Jim. Danger, danger. This could be the third. Oh, penalty! No, oh, no, fire. Was You've a, got two goals. That was a continental referee. He'd have been off there. And uh, it's Scotland now on the attack again. Christian using this technique in the middle. He's they're taking the Michael now. I'm, I'm interested in Sol's defenders. Why they run away from the ball each time? I can't quite work that tactic out. But no doubt he'll explain it to me after the game. Here we come now. It's a great through ball, but to no one in particular. In a way, oh, great tackle from Gaza. There. Gaza. He really is what he would do. So the box, Jim. I thought it was. I thought it was. Referee, come on, man. England needs something back very, very rapidly. Gaza goes diving in. We've got problems again. But can we get you on the counter-attack here? Here's Gaza. He's the only player, really, that stood out for me. He's going all the way. It's a lung-bursting effort, this one. Oh, that's a lovely little move. Surely, shot. yes. It's it's one one Absolutely. Gaza made it, and a brilliant finish. Well done, Sol. That has to be the probably the slickest move of the game so far, Jim. I thought so. Gaza kept it and kept it, and a terrific finish. 2-1, everything to play for. OK, the clock is ticking off England. Very, very little time to pull this level. Scotland kick off. They might decide to just play for possession. People know they're still attacking, but in a bizarre fashion. Well, I don't know. I think um, on balance, you've had the better of this half. That goal is a must lift England's spirits. But just a couple of minutes to He's go. And it's a third He's goal here, surely. Oh, Sol Campbell, a man who defended so valiantly for England in Rome, seems to have left a few of his defensive qualities in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> no one picking up the runner at all. It's 3-1 to Scotland. Maybe Ellen could snatch a late consolation, but surely even a draw is beyond well, them now. Uh, you never know. You never know. It's not over till it's over. And in fact, that's it. It is over. <laughs>
Okay, I, I know my opinions on how that match went, but I'll, uh, I'll leave it to the expert. Jim, how did you see it? Well, first of all, we are on Fantasy Island, aren't we? So it couldn't <laughs> happen in real life. But um, I don't think that we, we or Sol or England, whichever yeah. way you want to put it, ever really recovered from that first goal <clears> when the corner came out of nowhere and uh, Scotland took the advantage. But at least England did get the best goal of the game. Uh, yes, no, it was. It was a fantastic move for your goal, wasn't it, actually, Sol? Yeah, it was right in the corner. But, uh, you know, the defensive work wasn't too, uh, too good. You know, basic errors. Now, Christian, a fantastic performance there. Uh, can you see that happening if the two teams met in the World Cup? Um, I think it's a distinct possibility, um, especially <laughs> if we adopt the same uh, Brazilian style of football yeah. as we showed there and, and what, that's, that's the way we can play. What was, what was the secret then to your success in that? Uh, it's definitely a, a good team performance and uh, you know it, it bodes well for France 98. I am uh, so they're going against Master Joyce just now. Hopefully the World Cup in France in the summer goes to Christian Daly. Yeah. Those Spice Girls, eh, what are they like? They are everywhere. Are you sick of the sight of them? Good, because they have nothing to do with today's feature.